Hi, Sid. Ken, how are you? I'm doing all right. Well, I just want to show you. This is, yeah. I don't know if, see if you can see what can see a skull it. looks like. It's a very you know small. That looks to me as a person who was about your age, because I'm in my late 40s, I'm 47. Mm -hmm. um, that looks like something I used to have a lot at school. Like, it looks like the different scans we used to do for tests and other things. Yes, that's right. Yeah, it does, yeah, exactly. The first thing that came to mind actually was little pop candies. Oh yeah. Remember those? <laughs> I do. Here's a, That looks like a ruler. Yeah. This is about, so this is a ruler. So yep. This, is, this little bit is about 10 inches long. Okay. okay. Mm. And then it's, uh, what, like three inches wide? Okay. So 10 okay. by three, got it. And then each of these horizontal lines, you can see these, right? Yeah. I can see, we can. Uh, each the horizontal. Yep. Say that again. I can see the horizontal lines. Okay, so the horizontal lines, each one is a pitch. So okay. from high to low, so the lowest ones are F, G, C, D, E, F, G, A, and it goes all the way up. And then the vertical lines tell you about like the rhythm and the time. So each line is based, the vertical lines are like a B. Up and down vertical, yeah. Up and down. Yep. Right? So this is the first three notes that you'll hear, and then you'll hear a little, then you'll hear another set of notes, and then another note, and another note. So How do you do together, sharps and flats? I heard you say. Well, yeah. Yeah. So, um, let's see, does this one have it? Or do some not have sharps and flats? Yeah, so uh, I don't have anything easy to show you right now, but basically from the bottom, okay. from the bottom it would be F, G, C, and then it goes D, E, F, G, A, A sharp, B, C, C sharp, D, and then it goes chromatic. Okay. Up to C, C sharp, D, D sharp, E, F, G, A. And is that standard for music boxes? It's, um, so there are like a few standard music box sizes. There's a 15 note, a 20 note, a 30 note. Okay. Uh, and then like the larger ones are rarer, but um, this 30 note is pretty standard and it seems to be like, this is what, how, how they're structured. Cool. So, so that does seem to be standardized. So just from a musical like theory standpoint, is mm -hmm. like, there's that middle octave that's fully chromatic. Right. Okay. The C, 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 all of the chromatic notes. Right. Above that, there are a few. Below that, there are a few. And then it goes diatonic on either end. Okay. So, like, top and bottom notes are just like diatonic notes, sharps and sharps. Okay. So, when I put it through, here's the music box itself. Wow. You're seeing this, right? This is all clear. Fairly yeah, clear, it is right? super clear. It totally yeah. is. And it reminded me of a. It reminded me of a very tiny looking pasta maker. Yes, it's just like a pasta maker. <laughs> like you feed the thing through this end, and you roll it, and it comes out the other end. And the it's not making it pasta. It's making musical sounds. Making sounds. Okay. Because each of these little tines, each of these little, there's it's basically like a comb, right? Yeah. And each little thing of the comb makes a different sound and the makes a different pitch. And the way that you make, you pluck the bits of the comb is on this end, there's a roller. Got it. And the roller has these little pins on it. And okay. that might be hard to see, I don't know. And that's where I, why you're punching holes. Yes. Okay. So because what happens is the hole moves the pin, the pin moves the, the comb pitch, yep. and then you get a sound. But if you do that on its own, this makes a tiny, tiny little sound. Let's see if I can get one. Uh, might not even be able to... No, maybe I can't even get it. That's okay. Let's see. This, this is why we're testing. This is the beta test. Yeah, exactly. Okay, oh, hear yeah. that? A little bit, yeah. It's like a snapping. 
Yeah, it's a tiny, mm -hmm. tiny little sound. Yeah, yeah. But then, okay, you, here comes what the you magic. Need to do is you need to put the thing, music box, mm -hmm. on, 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 something that resonates, that something that amplifies the sound. And in the article in the Chronicle, it said you prefer bamboo. Mm -hmm. I do, I use bamboo, I use wood, um, different types of wood make different types of sounds. Okay. Um, so right now I'm using a wood box. It's a little box. And when you put this, the metal onto the box, yes. the box will help make Ooh. more sound. Yeah. Is it resonating? I can hear it. So let's see if you can see what's happening here. Okay. I'm moving this scroll for this little. What's happening is there's a little uh, lever that moves the gears. These gears move the paper through. Yes. The machine. And as the paper is moving through the machine, the little dots on the paper are moving the pins, which are moving the comb, which is making wow. a sound, which is going through the box and making it resonate. The box is vibrating. Yes. More sound. Is that like, to give an example, like a guitar? It is exactly like a guitar. Okay. Can you show us what it's like or not like when it's not on the box? Yep. So if I were just doing without the box, Oh yeah, you can hear it, but it's really hard to hear. Like you can barely hear it. Right. And then here's with the box. Wow. So it's really a big difference. Yeah. I'm actually, um, funny that we're and talking then, about, yeah. Oh, what about on the chair? How would it sound on the, just the chair? Like that you have it on now. Let's see. Yeah. This will also amplify, but maybe not as warm. Right. Oh, yeah. Okay. Here's the box. So much clearer and so much louder. Right? And so okay, so I'm glad you can tell. Yeah. Even on Zoom. Yeah, uh, it's my laptop is actually, I'm going to show you this, is on a box that might also work, but it's also an instrument. Let me show you. Let's see. Oh, well, that would be perfect. Because it's on a cajon a drum. That would work too, yeah? You're frozen a little bit. Oh, yeah. yeah that would look ideal. Is that a percussion instrument? It's a cajon. My brother-in-law sent it to me. Yeah, it's a, it's a percussive. Yeah. It's a drum instrument that almost has like a snare drum sound inside of it. Right. I was actually wondering what it would sound like on a cajon specifically. Just so now I think all I have to do is learn how to make this and <laughs> send away for an easy to make uh, music box thing and try it and I can show Exactly. <laughs> because in the non-shelter in place world, I'd be like, well, let's just get together. But um, I, it is super inspiring and cool and wonderful and I think magical. And I cannot wait uh, to share this with the kids. Um, and well, thank you, yeah, thank you so much. I'm going, yeah. I'm not saying goodbye. I'm just stopping our recording. So. Thank sure. you so much. You're very welcome. All right. I'm going to try to do a fancy harpsichord solo version of Everything's Connected. Mm -hmm.